imagine the air being so dirty you can smell and taste it. set of stringent and more advanced smog Air checks. quality was considered hazardous all weekend. More people die from breathing than smoking cigarettes. And yet no one's talking about it. Think about this, breathing the air of our streets has become a public health hazard. It kills seven million people worldwide every year. If you solve a thorny issue just like air pollution in one city across the world, you can actually scale it all around the world. The crisis to which many of us have, quite frankly, become desensitized. Families across Syria are coping with the horrors of Syria. Potentially one of the worst war atrocities in recent memory. Experiences of war leave children at a real high risk for the development of emotional and behavioral problems. Despite all these challenges they faced, they were trying to help their children. They told me how they watched their children withdraw. The sadness, depression, anger, bedwetting, thumb-sucking, fear of loud noises, fear of nightmares. So the question I had was, could parent training programs be useful for families while they were still in war zones or refugee camps? In health news tonight, there is a growing outbreak of a mosquito-borne virus that is linked to birth defects. The Zika virus, Boston reporting its first case of the disease, now more than 30 cases. The Zika epidemic continues to spread. It's here. So what do we do about it? It's either about protecting people or about eliminating the mosquitoes. This is the bad guy. A British company called Oxitec genetically modified that mosquito so that when it mates with a wild female, its eggs don't develop to adulthood. So the bottom line is this. Biological control of harmful insects can be both more effective and very much more environmentally friendly than using insecticides. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>